Hey guys, how's it going? X from Channel 4 here, and today I'm with you guys for a tutorial in Blender. This is a simple physics tutorial on how to create a game and also how to create some physics. So, this is what the end result is going to look like. As you can see, I can roll the ball around, and when I hit these cubes, they move and they go toppling down. Uh, this is one of my very first games. I have not mastered this yet, but I am working on it. Definitely working on it because I found this to be really fun. And uh, so, we'll go ahead and show you. Yeah, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, first, you're going to need to open up a new Blender file. All right, and then what we're gonna do, don't delete this starting cube. What you're actually gonna do is you're going to press S and X to make it longer. Actually, no, we're not, yeah, delete the starter cube, sorry. Then you're just going to shift A and add a plane. I'll get this down to where it's supposed to be. All right, now we're going to do S or S X or no we don't need to do that we can just do change the size to make it a lot bigger all right there we go and then we're just going to do SZ to make it oh apparently I can't make it thicker all right well this is good enough it's good solid plane so what we're going to be doing is basically making the cubes right now the cubes that you were hitting so we're going to go into add mesh and then cube this is going to be your cube. You're going to want to position it like right above the plane. This can easily be done by pressing three and getting everything, you know, located well. So we're gonna move this down just a tad, just until it's just above the ground. Then we're going to move this back and over here. So this is going to be your first cube. This is going to be your basic cube. Uh, and so what you're going to do is over here on the right hand side I'm gonna pull this out a bit so I can see everything a bit better you're going to go into the physics tab over here which is this little bouncy ball thing alright so actually hang on oh okay I know what to do alright so what you're gonna do is you're going to Alright, so what you're going to do is, uh, normally in this uh, physics tab you would want to use one of these, but not for this tutorial. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top middle right here where it says Blender Render. And you're going to change that to Blender Game. So this is going to make it look a bit better, and it also adds in the functions. So, what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, check or where it says physics type you want to change where it says static to rigid body this basically means it will react to forces being acted upon it and it will also react to the other static things so as you can see we can rise this up a bit then we'll press P and it falls so that's an easy check to do to make sure that you're got everything going so then down here over where it says attributes you can change the mass uh, this makes it fall faster launch higher go slower I usually set the mass for my cubes to three or four for this one I'm going to set it to four and then so we're just gonna show you this right here and it looks good so I'm gonna move this down here and now there's something else you might see it's called the radius the radius is actually what the uh, what blender is detecting as the uh, surface so if you were to make the radius larger you can see that the outline is where the cube will like be standing so if I were to drop it as you can see it floats because it's using that as the surface uh, Blender's explanation is good. Radius of a bounding sphere and material physics. If you understand that, <laughs> good for you. But uh, another thing I like to just test is kind of set the radius up and put it in the ground, then zoom out and press P. P, by the way, is uh, you're basically rendering the game. So as you can see, it works well. That's a good way to check your mass. I'm going to change this back to 1. 1 is the default. That's how it just, you know the size of the cube itself alright and then the next thing you're going to do is 
collision bounds. So you're going to check this box and you can see where it says bounds box. Uh, click here. It should be set to box already, but if it's not, set it to box. But you may notice some other things such as capsule, box, sphere, cylinder, cone. Uh, basically, this is how it will bounce. Like if I were to set it sphere, the the box would roll across the ground. So, and then the margin right here, just keep it set to zero unless you change the radius. Basically, what it is is it's the same thing as radius. Just keep it set at zero. All right. So now you basically have your basic cube set up, and now we're going to make more of it. So uh, let's go ahead here, and you're going to press Alt D to duplicate. Oh, and an easy thing I figured out how to do is down here there should be a little magnet button, snap during transform, that allows you to just kind of move it along. So as you can see, there we go. And then we'll move it, oops, we'll move them up, seven, nope, three, <laughs> and across, and now that I've got this, I'm just going to quickly select all these, that the, oh, not the lamp, stupid lamp, move over here, uh, nope, okay, there we go, now we're just going to select these, alt D, alt D. Alright, so now we've got a sturdy wall built here. I'm actually going to make it one more over. There we go. Looks pretty cool. So now we're, we can uh, simply just go press P again, make sure it all works. And as you can see, it does work cleanly. Though it does have some occasional bounces. Um, oops, let's get out of the camera there. Alright, so now now that we've got this set up we are going to go ahead and go into making the ball so what you're actually going to do is this is where it gets a bit more complicated up here where it says default you're going to actually first before you do that you're going to press a or you're going to press shift a and you're going to go into mesh and add a uv sphere all right then we're going to move this over here all right, and then we're gonna go into the physics for this also, it's already in there. And then you're going to change it again to rigid body. And then you're gonna wanna set the mass uh, definitely higher than the uh, cubes over there. So I'll set it to six. And yep, that looks all right. We're gonna change the collision bounds to sphere. Oops, uncheck compound. Come on, there we go, sphere. All right, now if we press P, looks good. And I'm actually going to just kind of move it up so it kind of gives a little bounce. Whoa. Okay, and then also another thing, you can set the velocity so it kind of gets a bounce, but I'm not too good at that, so I'm just gonna keep it at zero for now. Uh, <clears throat> so, now that we have this set up, this is our basic setup, we're going to go up here where it says default, the little box to the left, we're going to click it and change it to game logic. As you can see, it gives us a new view. And uh, basically what this is, is these are three different things. So this is basically what you what causes it. It's the trigger, It's what, ha and it's the link to what happens. So this is what happens, this is the link, and this is the trigger. So right here we're going to click add sensor keyboard and we're going to make the key let's say W so W A S and D Then we're going to add controller and we're going to click and and then we're going to add an actuator and add the motion actuator. Now sometimes uh, this entire thing won't pop up uh, I'm not sure why that happens it was happening to me before and I couldn't figure it out so, oh, maybe, no, nope. well, yeah, uh, if it doesn't happen, I'm pretty sure the thing you do is add actuator and then change it to action, like right here, add that after a motion and it should change, I'm not sure though, so if you guys can figure this out, unless it comes like this, just put it down in the comments so other people can see it, and I might also add an, an ocean to uh, help others out. So uh, let's go ahead and so down here it should say dynamic objects 
Uh, all of these should be checked, and what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck the top of each, the motion type, and the force. So, uh, right now we have this set up right here. You can see our little XY thing. Uh, right now we're going to want to add a force for, so positive X is going to the right. So we're going to want a force to add negative X force, which is going to go left. So we're going to change the force right here. Oops, that's the Y. Let me change this back to zero. And we're going to change the force to about negative 50 because that's a good force. So we'll press P right here to go into our game viewer. And as you can, oops. Oh, and I forgot to connect it. After you do that, you're just going to connect this one to this. So the little circles to the big circles. So now we're going to press this. And as you can see, our ball rolls forward. It hits the cubes. And we can slowly push the cubes out. And this is where I was uh, debating whether I should add uh, more force. So instead of being negative 50, it would be negative 100. Oops, not 1, oh, 100. So now when you see it, it kind of goes a bit faster and then you can actually launch the stuff. Although it's a bit harder con to control the ball, so I'm just going to keep it at negative 50. Also, if you really want to change uh, it so, it so the uh, ball can... Uh, uh, actually move the cubes a lot easier you can uh, change the density of the ball and lighten the density of the cubes so now that we've got this we're going to just basically do this for all the other keys so we're gonna add another sensor keyboard and we're going to set the key to uh, S this time and we're going to add controller and now we're going to add actuator motion and we're going to go down here to where it says dynamic object settings change the force to 50 this time since it's forcing it on the positive x and we're going to connect the little whatchamacallits i wonder if you can just connect this to this oh oh well that's a handy little thing you can just connect one thing to the other and it automatically connects both of them so we're just gonna go ahead and press p and as you can see we can now roll oops why isn't this working? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to uncheck both of these. Now we're over forward force, backward force. And yep. So now we're gonna just go ahead and roll through, then run away, then roll through, and so on and so forth. So, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we are going to add yet another sensor. Uh, where is it? Keyboard and add another motion you don't need to add the controller because i just figured out that uh... you can just drag one thing to the other so this is going to be the a key and what it's going to do is you're going to change the y positive y is up there and we're going to want it to be moving left so we're going to change it to negative fifty if you're understanding anything that i'm saying now we're just going to connect this to this Oops. apparently it didn't connect this to this, this to this, there we go, <laughs> and yep, and now we're going to add, now we're just going to test that out, A, and W, okay, so it looks like it's working well, and then we'll finally add one more keyboard and one more motion. And then we'll change this keyboard to D, and we'll change this motion to positive 50. Then we'll uncheck, uncheck, oops, forgot to do that on this one, uncheck, uncheck. Okay, and now we're going to connect these two together. Alright, and now your game should be finished. You can view it from any angle, just go into P. And we'll roll it around and boop. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And I hope you really have fun showing this game to all of your friends and bragging about how you're computer genius and stuff. Probably what I'm going to do to my friends. And um, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Adios.
Jump off the cliff. Whee!